Well, tonight, a woman is recovering from a vicious attack outside of a movie theater in Lakewood. She became the victim of something we see all too often. Outside the door. A minor squabble turning extremely violent. In this case, it started when she asked someone to quiet down during a movie. Kelly Worthman is at Belmar tonight. And Kelly, her reasonable request was enough to make someone snap. Well, what was supposed to be a fun girls' night out at the movies turned into a trip at the hospital. A mother was beaten up outside this movie theater, allegedly over comments she made inside. I had blood everywhere. I mean, my face was covered in blood. It was all the way down my shirt, all the way down to my shoes. That's how Heather Piper looked after going to a movie Tuesday night. Three days later, it's hard not to notice her dark black eye. I don't think I've ever had a black eye. Heather was beat up outside the Century 16 Theater in Belmar by a teen she says was among a group that was crawling over seats and being loud during the movie. Asked them to be quiet several times and they wouldn't, and I finally just yelled at them to shush. Another moviegoer told security about the teens, according to Heather, which kept the group quiet for the rest of the movie. But as Heather and her two friends left, one of the ruckus teens confronted her. She's screaming and just punched me on the side of the head. Heather says she didn't fight back because she's a foster parent and didn't want to jeopardize her license. I said, what are you doing? What is wrong with you? And she lost it. And she started hitting me again and she started crying, saying, Well, you called me ghetto. And did you call her ghetto? I'm pretty, I probably did. Mm -hmm. um, In the theater? I'm pr I probably did. Eventually, the teen ran off, leaving Heather with a fractured nose, several bruises, and scratches. For someone to not have, I guess, the mental capacity to use their words to express themselves, to immediately have to go into violence, is a scary thing. Now, Lakewood police say that they are investigating this assault case, and it's likely when that suspect is caught, she'll face felony charges. Reporting live in Lakewood, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First. Kelly, thank you.